Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, and 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 13. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Father God, thank you so much for this time together. God bless us and help us to understand your word as it relates to our specific situation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Okay, it says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. So this is a pretty um, direct uh, conflation. Um, let's just read the second part of the conflation. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 13. God judges those outside, purge the evil person from among you. And so um, he, he was saying about judging inside and outside of the church. But here specifically, he's saying God judges those who are outside. And so he's saying um, purge the evil person from among you. And this may take strength, right? Um, if there's evil, if you can see that Satan is being let in specifically by a person or um, some sort of dark entity is among you in your, your grouping or in your house of the Lord, then you need to purge that situation. You need to not be a part of that, right? If you can't get the evil out, then you need to get out, right? So, but here specifically, it says purge the evil person from among you. And this may take strength. This may take you stepping out of your comfort zone, right? But the conflation here today is finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. You're going to have to be strong in the Lord. It says be, so it is a command to be strong. And, and this is the conflation for today. So um, I pray that you pray specifically about your situation as this relates to you. And, you know, ask God how this applies to you. Um, God will give you strength to deal with and do whatever it is he would have you to do in this um, in this situation. Let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this completion of scriptures. Bless it, God, and help the people to understand what it is you have for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.